Conor McGregor wins in like 30 seconds against Cowboy. Princess. So, it was quite easy, just as I thought, an exhibition fight. What's up, Jose? You coming over? I might. I might come over to Victory Party. We live. Yeah, well, it was quite simple. Um, it did exactly what Dana White wanted. Dana White wanted this to happen this way. A showcase fight for a main event. Only in the UFC can you get a showcase fight as the main event. Yep, only in the UFC. <laughs> a guy who hasn't won in four years versus a guy who's 0-2 on his last leg, 36. And I was going for the guy who was 36. <laughs> I don't think he landed a glove on him the whole fight. I know you're going to say fixed fight, Sean, but it's not a fixed fight. This is like... This is like Chuck Liddell at the end of it. Remember what Chuck was like at the end of it? This is kind of like that. So, I told you, when Conor McGregor comes back and win tonight, they're gonna put him in a real fight and we're gonna get our money. Remember what I told you? We're gonna get our money right there, see that? When they put him in with a real fight, we're gonna get our money. What's up, man? What's up, dude? <laughs> I see you, but I don't remember you. Yeah, 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 we remember. We, we hear all the time, buddy. Come <laughs> <laughs> back again. Hey, no, I don't see you, dude. Yeah, it's been a while, it's been a long time. What the fuck? Yeah, little man, great to Talking to the people about the fight. Yo, this is my bro. Yeah. Seen this man in, since 2003. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, we pick up getting, right getting where we older. Up. Getting older. And getting better. <laughs> and happy. Yeah. Salud. Salud. Hey, we back. <laughs> I didn't know you were out here. misunderstanding all the time and the only misunderstanding is one guy's drunk and the other guy is just as drunk yeah. <laughs> one guy drunk the other guy drunker man you got a hard day Jose this is gonna be it yep <laughs> Oh, I live uh, not too far from here, like about three, four minutes. Yeah, right there in Granny. Yeah. Yep. All right, bro. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Now it's a party! We just saw the fight on TV. <laughs> or oh, whatever that was. <laughs> when Connor gets into a real fight, then that's when I make my money. When McGregor gets in a real fight, that's when we get our money. That's when I, it keeps me paid. He keeps me paid. Yeah, that would be the easiest fight for him. He already knows Nate. He fought him twice. He ain't beat him once. But that's a winnable fight if he can stay on his feet and move around. And like I told you, buddies, I'm going to get my money off Conor McGregor, baby. I think Dana White would be smart this time. I think he knows what he got now. I think the first time he thought Conor McGregor was really good and that he could beat anybody he put him in the ring with, and he found out that he can't. And he realized that he's limited. And Conor knows he's limited, too. And now they just want to make the most money they can. They might stick him back in the boxing ring with Manny Pacquiao. That would be the stupidest thing you could ever do. But it'll make money. But what did I tell you guys? Cowboy. It's Nick and Nate Diaz. Yeah. Yep. Now, here's the issue, fellas. Okay, somebody. Oh yeah, I'm doing great. I wish I'd get some food. Uh, they closed the kitchen, right? No. No? No, we closed at one. Oh wow, I thought you guys closed at midnight. Want some food? Yeah, I want some food. I want, I want to get eating. Uh, I'll be sitting at the door. All right, you want to catch up? You're real fast and then just tell them that you can start an open. Like, oh, well, where, where are you guys? I'm over here. Well, then put me where you at. Let me clear this off real fast, all right? Okay, well, go ahead and do your thing. I got time. So, Conor McGregor ain't going to get in a real fight at all no more for a long time. Believe me, they learned their lesson. So, they're going to keep Conor away from as many real fights as they can. They'll put him in with every showcase guy they can, and they're going to go from there. Unfortunately, Cowboy, he's a great fighter in his past. He's like Chuck Liddell at the end of it. 36 has been stopped now in his last three fights. I told you this was gonna happen. So now Conor McGregor, who everyone believes now is pretty good. Oh great. They gotta escort this guy out. Yep, they call the fuzz. And now that now that McGregor's done whooped on Cowboy and put him out the pastures. Got that segue? Cowboy pastures. Don't worry about it. Okay, you got me? Yes, I want traditional. Yep, traditional wings. Ranch. With celery sticks, uh, barbecue, and ranch. Honey barbecue, ranch, celery. Just regular barbecue, it don't matter. Yeah, I got you. All right, sorry. All right, I got this whole booth. So. They're going to be very careful with how they treat Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor is only good for two rounds. After two rounds, he's dead. So they're not going to put him in there with those guys. They're going to try to put him in there with some other fighters that they can market. They'll look at Nate Diaz. They'll look at a boxing match. 
They're not thinking, let's put Conor McGregor in there with some of these real champions. If they do that, they're in trouble. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah they all depend on my opinion because I make them a lot of money. <laughs> I tell them what fights to bet, how to bet, and... No, he did a very good job today, so... I mean, that was very unusual for him to use that tactic. He got off to a quick start, and you gotta watch Connor in the very third, first 30 seconds. Well, when Connor lost to Khabib, what year was that? Was that 2017 when he lost to Khabib or 2016? Does anybody know? I want to say, damn, last year. I think it was last year. He hasn't won a fight since 2016. So now, now, uh, Conor McGregor has got a pay-per-view on this belt. They stole a lot of money tonight. The card before this, the pay-per-view card before this was way better than this card. And nobody even came out like they did to this card because it was Conor McGregor. And any idiot that paid 80 some bucks is going to stay for you. Congratulations on you for being an idiot. <laughs> Congratulations on you being an idiot for paying 80 some dollars for that pay per view. Now, back to it. Conor McGregor is the most overrated fighter in the UFC. But. This is why I make money. All these people here are very stupid. And they believe Connor's back. And that's how I make my money. All stupidity. And stupidity is here. And now the cops got this guy hemmed up. And they're escorting him. All right. Estovia. So anyway, it's another night at the OK Corral, baby. Should I go three, four rounds? Yeah. Yeah, this was went longer than the damn McGregor fight. Exactly. I wish I did. You know, I wish I did. But to me, Conor McGregor is just a waste of space. And this is what we do. Oh, hey. You know, you can stay here. No problem. Yeah, I'm just on, I'm just on uh, the podcast thing here. No, you can go ahead and charge your phone, do whatever you want. So, good people. Take care. Yo, so you guys be careful. To make an assessment in 30, 40 seconds is lunacy. To make an assessment is lunacy. My thing is this. If you're Dana White, how can I keep this guy winning? From the business standpoint, he's not going to fight Mascot. Mascot will kill him. I will tell you, whoever they make the fight with, with Conor McGregor, bet the other guy. Believe me, if Dana White is, is smart, even a fraction, 
He does not put Connor in there with anybody who can beat him for less money. Like, if you put him in a boxing match with Manny Pacquiao, it's stupid. Manny's going to hurt him really bad, but you'll make some money. Do not put Conor McGregor in a real fight. If you put him in a real fight, he's going to get hurt. Because what's happening here is what I already know. His confidence as a fighter is gone. And they're trying to get it back and restore it. Now he's a guy that guys can fight and make a bunch of money off of. This is what happened to Oscar De La Hoya in the late years. Oscar De La Hoya knew what he was and what his limitations were. They're still throwing him out? Oh, well, you know what it is. Oh, the cops are still doing the cops. All right, you guys have a good night. You too. All right. <laughs> so, if Connor fight the wrong guy, he's gonna lose. <laughs> Believe that he's going to lose. Dana White better be very smart about this. If you put him in the ring with Manny Pacquiao, Manny Pacquiao will hurt him. Oh yeah, <laughs> tear his ass off. He ain't no, he's yeah. an attacker. He's exactly. Not a, he's not a. So if Connor try to go after Manny Pacquiao, Manny Pacquiao will hurt him. Oh yeah. So I'm telling you right now, people, don't fall for the trap. All right, the cops are still throwing him out, and I want to get away from the cops. So let me go over here. They get a police escort outside, ain't that something? <laughs> All right. Yep, so once again, Thank you guys for all coming here to hang out. I'm like, are you old enough to serve beer? Me? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm 19, so yes. Oh, I'm okay. a server. All right. Not tonight, but yeah. Okay. All right. That's Melissa. Your food's going to come to you. Okay, cool. I'm like making sure somebody's old enough to serve me a beer. I'm like, wait a minute. I don't want no kids here because if they tell me I can't drink my beer because some other person has served me a beer, we have problems, Johnny. Now, who do y'all think Conor McGregor can be? Looking at this fight, do you think Conor McGregor is back? Or he just took advantage of a cowboy who was looking for the way out. This video is longer than that fight. You will have a lot of people saying fake fight. Watch. Watch. Watch what I tell you. It's probably already trending. I don't even know it yet because I've been here talking to y'all since the fight ended. But I know him. I already know him. So... Don't forget to hit the cash app up. Support your boy. I took a hit tonight. Like, literally, I got a hit right here in my head. Like, I've been doing UFC tonight and headbutting somebody. I don't know how that happened. Uh, I lost the Houston Rockets game. I really need me. I really need this. This. I really need this tonight. That Laker Rockets game to put me in the back. Bad spot.
So please help me be able to pay for my food tonight. My name is Carcino on the Cash App, or you can hit the Stream Lab up, the donate button in the Stream Lab. Support the page, keep the movement going. We read all the messages. Stream Lab tomorrow, and by all means, if you're my Patreon fan, I'm gonna go in for real on this video, even hardcore over there. So we're gonna go all in. Yeah, believe me. All Patreons, let me let you, VIP, if you ever get this far into it, I'll save it for another day. Don't even worry about it.